Hi folks, welcome to Blackbeard's Detail on YouTube channel. I'm Ross, outside you've seen Josh, you'll see him shortly as well. The, on this vlog we have this Jaguar XEN Blue 4 hour ceramic package. So it's a brand new car, it's only covered about 300 miles and it's getting crystal serum light put on it. Outside we had done the decon, so that was an hour's worth of decon compressed into a minute and the car is now inside. Paintwork on these is super soft, it's getting a single stage enhancement done on it so it should respond up really, really well. On first inspection, the paint doesn't look too bad, so I'm expecting fantastic results from it. So the basically the next stage is get this lifted, get the wheels off, Josh is going to deep clean them, and then I'm going to crack on with the paintwork assessment, and then we'll get the correction done. So uh, yeah, hopefully you join us for the journey. Okay, so this is me doing the paperwork condition report and basically it's taken this wee gizmo which is a paint depth gauge and I'm checking all around the panels usually about three or four different measuring points uh, on each panel and it lets me know what the paint depths are so, so far, nice healthy paint depths uh, this section here is about 153 microns 150 and uh, that's about the, the width of two human hairs so that covers your uh, primer then your colour and then the lacquer the lacquer usually makes up the biggest portion of that usually about a third so gives you an indication of how much paint you can actually start to strip off uh, when you're doing a correction now this is getting a single stage it will be taken away a tiny tiny portion of that so, so this section down here is showing 105 microns but when we go further up the panel it's showing 151 microns so that's typical the cars the way they're painted by machine it tends to be a thinner layer down the bottom than it does at the top uh, it's not going to cause any issues it's not visible to the naked eye and the again the kind of thinner paints isn't an issue when the car's just getting a single stage correction uh, one thing we've noticed pretty much is <coughs> excuse me the large majority of new cars we're getting through the paint is much thinner than cars from five years ago plus uh, it's obviously down to saving weight cost savings environmental impacts which makes it all the more important to get your car protected from the get-go. So, yeah, so far, so good. Paint's all in the green, and, uh, yeah, that's a nice green light for us to go ahead. There's no issues. It doesn't look as if it's been damaged in transit, and it's had a cheeky panel repaired prior to the customer picking it up, which is always a good thing. So, yeah, big green light, and we're just going to get cracked on with the correction. Josh is uh, onto the wheels already and then uh, after they've been done you'll get the arches cleaned get those wheels coated and get the wheels back on it but in the meantime i'm going to start polishing the lower sections
Well, folks, it's now day number two working on this big cat and uh, got power of work done. He uh, stayed a wee bit later last night and came in a bit earlier today and uh, the correction work is all done. Makes some difference when the car is, uh, is nice and new. It's only done 300 odd miles and uh, yeah, we can just focus on getting that jaw dropping gloss. So that's all been done. Josh is currently going over the interior. Uh, the, so it's got the tri-clean there, going over all the surfaces and the leather, as this is all going to get coated with G-Technic leather guard. And uh, yeah, it makes sense whilst it's all brand new just to get that done. So the mats have all been sorted as well. They're going to get treated with smart fabric. And then next on the list is a little bit of PPF, which is going to be put down on the boot lip. As you might have gathered, put the, uh, the gentleman that owns this is a golf fanatic. So there's going to be golf clubs chucked in and out the boot. So we just want to make sure that boot lip is going to be really protected uh, in case it catches, so we don't want that causing any kind of permanent damage. So the PPF is going to take the brunt of that should it get hit. So still loads to do. After we've done that, a uh, full car will then get panel wiped and then the coating will get on it. But we are pretty much on schedule with it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get cracked on with today's work. So that's all the PPF now on the car, just the boot lip section. Interior all finished and the car's all panel white and it's just ready to get coated. So Josh is just prepping everything now. I've just had a wee break for lunch there and we're just about to start getting the coatings on. So yeah, great progress made with this. It was looking absolutely fantastic because I says earlier what a difference when the car's brand new and we can just focus on getting that absolutely immense gloss out of the paintwork. Uh, it's only going to improve when we get the coating on it. So we're going to crack on with that and uh, yeah, this is very nearly finished. Well folks, that's all the work now finished on this Jag. So, loads of work done, all done ahead of schedule as well, so we are delighted. Uh, it's going to sit in, going to cure overnight, the customer can come and collect it the following day. And uh, yeah, we'll get the beauty shots done of this, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the wee subscribe button, hit the wee bell, get a notification whenever we drop a new video. Thanks for watching, cheerio bye.